Hello and welcome back. We're going to start our play our game against International Iron Rand and Riker. And in today's episode, I want to focus on the core elements of a game. The opening, the middle game, and the end game. But more importantly, what matters in each stage? In the opening, it's the little tempos, the little optimizations that matter. Like right here, I did this spawn break before castling. That's a minor optimization just from studying these end games and knowing the move order. So it's a lot of work to get to that level. But, and I don't know if it's even right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's the opening. Opening is all about optimizations, little tempos here and there, and all of that. Middle game is where you have the, the meeting of strategy and tactics. Like right now, we got some kind of a tactical situation. Queen is defended by the knight in case of the bishop check maneuver. And now what we're trying to do is to exploit various aspects of the position. And typically, you would want to try to get your queen into this square. But uh, in these kind of positions, I found that this f7 square is an equally attractive weakness sometimes. Not in this case, unfortunately, but uh, yeah. And there the plan would be knight here, bishop there. and get the rook out and then do something there. Not gonna happen here, but uh, that's okay. Now, do we just take it with the queen or no? We should keep some tension aboard, especially when he has the hole in the fianchettoed position. But of course he knows that, and therefore he is looking to trade queens, totally fair, totally reasonable. And we have to accept it. So we have a relatively even position. He's looking to make a nice expansive move here. We should try to keep the spawn honest. Try to re-centralize the knight. I'm not sure about that actually. Maybe the knight was better there. Anyway, we'll continue to put some pressure on the spawn. It seems to be a bit of a soft target, actually. Not easy for him to defend because of the loose pieces in his position. And his knight is somewhat offside. And here we have it. It seems like we have won the pawn. And that's a critical pawn to win. In a game like this, and now it's tempting to play this move, and maybe it's the right move, it's the safe move, but it is also a move that probably gives him some counterplay. I will try to get away without playing it. So it's another minor optimization, right? 
to avoid playing b3 because it's a kind of passive move, right? Rook c1 is more active. I know the knight's still holding on to this, so I don't have to worry too much. This move is slightly weakening, yet at the same time, it's got a nasty trick of uh, potentially trapping that knight. So I'm playing it. Now, rook infiltration is something to worry about slightly. And we don't want to worry about that. So we will just keep it simple and challenge the open file. Now we can potentially change our tactics. Uh, towards looking to trap this knight. And the tactics are basically related to swapping. Okay, played it right. Maybe we capture here. We could take him off, but this rook is rather good. We just keep it simple. Still keep it simple. Look for an opportunity to get the bishop here. Of course, it's not on the cards right now. But what if we actually just try to swap these bishops off? Or otherwise get the bishop here. Then I can finally get him into the game in a meaningful way. Uh, See, that knight is still off the game, right, isn't he? He's out of the game. And now we can just play our fiddle. I don't think he manages to wiggle away. I... We should be able to win this here and this one after. Okay, he is getting his knight out of harm's way. He's going to start coming for those pawns. I made a mistake there, left one pawn loose. Okay. We have to probably charge this fella forward. And look to use the knight to muscle him through. That's an effective defense. Effective defensive maneuvering. Uh, yeah. I. Uh, I probably could have won that. Or it was a draw, it seems, at the end. Anyway. Good game, tough game. Let's see. The total book opening. And now you see the mistakes here. And the wrong move made. It should seem obvious in retrospect. Yeah, it is obvious-ish in retrospect, of course. Why does he have to move his king up? Can't he maintain the tension? No, not really, because rook comes here and the queen starts running short of squares. 
knight coming in as well if the bishop comes there. So, yeah, it was just keep it simple, silly. Sometimes that's the best approach. Yeah, and even here, rather than moving the queen there, I could have kept him here and then managed to keep the queens on the board. So one mistake usually follows another, no surprise there. But now he did give up a central pawn here, very shockingly, uh, or surprisingly rather, because it seemed like a normal move, but all of a sudden it's not. And now b3, yeah, it turns out that is the simpler, safer, solid, solid move. So, you never know, you never know. Now with his piece potentially getting trapped here, it should have been a totally one game, but of course, you know me, silly old me, always managing to mess things up. And uh, yeah, at here I should have obviously come in with the check right away and then just taken control of the game. It's kind of remarkable that I managed to fluff this one up. but. Uh, Whatever. Like even right here, I think even pawn up is pretty powerful. Anyway. And right here, I shouldn't have been in such a hurry to take this pawn, I reckon. Although it's good enough, and here I've sure probably played a4. Uh, and here I should have probably just come the knight back and hold everything solid and make the uh, reposition the king towards the side of the board, let the outlier be a distraction for this king, and win the game there. Should, should have just been a simple clinical end game, but I made a cr critical error right here. To capture back that pawn. Computer reckons I should have held on to my edge and allowed him to have this counterplay here, which uh, which I didn't want to allow because, you know, yeah, it was a tough tough end game to uh, completely win. Knight. And pawn end game. Very tricky here. Right here is a great defense. And I pro perhaps could have continued the chase. Tried to win this one off, let him win this, and then try to queen that. But of course, the knight would be a resilient defender and would perfectly it is a draw. All right, thank you for watching.